How have you made it this far in life, meticulously choosing between a bottle of water and a can of diet soda, without knowing the fundamental secret that they share? Today, I'll explain the weird reason that diet soda and water are actually equal in calories to you like you're 5 years old. And by the end of this, you'll finally understand why a can of bubbly chemicals can have the same big fat zero on its label as a bottle of boring old H2O, and you can finally stop having a mini existential crisis in the beverage aisle. Now, let's start with the absolute basics. What in the world is a calorie? Well, forget everything you think you know. A calorie is not a tiny monster that lives in your closet and sews your clothes tighter at night. A calorie is just a unit of energy. That's it. It's just a measurement, like an inch or a pound. An inch measures length, a pound measures weight, and a calorie measures energy. Specifically, it measures the amount of energy your body can get from eating or drinking something. Your body is like a little car that is always, always running. Even when you're just sitting there watching television, your body's working pretty hard. I mean, your heart is pumping, your lungs are breathing, and your brain is thinking about whether you left the oven on. All of that work requires energy. It requires fuel. And food is your body's fuel. Calories are how we count that fuel. And a slice of pizza has a lot of calories, which means it gives your body a lot of fuel. A single grape has very few calories, which means it gives your body just a tiny bit of fuel. So, when you see a number on a food label next to the word calories, that number is just telling you how much go power is inside that package. A big number means a lot of go power, a small number means a little bit of go power. And what does a zero mean? You got it. It means no go power at all. It's like an empty gasoline can. It might look like it should do something, but it's full of nothing. Now, let's look at our first exhibit. Water. Why does water have zero calories? Well, because it's just water. It's two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom having a little party. There's nothing in water that your body can break down and turn into energy. It's essential for life, yes. It keeps you hydrated, it helps your body's engine run smoothly. But it doesn't provide any fuel. Drinking water is like putting oil and coolant in your car. The car absolutely needs them to function, but they aren't the gasoline that makes it go. Your body sees water, says thank you, uses it to do all its important water-related jobs, and that's the end of the story. No fuel was provided. So, the energy count is zero. Zero fuel equals zero calories. Simple enough, right? Okay, hold that thought. Now let's look at a regular non-diet soda. That can of sugary fizz is a whole different story. It's mostly water, sure, but it also contains a massive heaping pile of sugar. And sugar is pure, easily accessible energy for your body. It's like a perfectly chopped, ready-to-burn log for your body's internal fireplace. As soon as you drink it, your body gets to work, breaks down that sugar in a flash, and gets a huge whoosh of energy from it. And that is why a can of regular soda can have 150 calories or more. It is packed with fuel. It's a full tank of high-octane gasoline for your body. And all that sugar is pure go power. And the calorie number reflects that. So, on one hand, we have water. No fuel, zero calories. On the other hand, we have regular soda. Lots of fuel in the form of sugar. Lots of calories. These two things make perfect sense. Now, let's enter the twilight zone. Let's talk about diet soda. You look at the can, it says zero calories. You taste it, it's incredibly sweet, maybe even sweeter than the regular soda filled with sugar. How can something taste so sweet and deliver absolutely no energy? Is it magic? Is the label lying? No, it's just a clever trick. Diet soda is basically a professional prankster for your mouth. The secret lies in what they use to make it sweet. Instead of using sugar, which is a natural substance that your body knows how to use as fuel, diet sodas use something called an artificial sweetener, fake sugar. And this fake sugar is a chemical compound that is engineered to be a master of disguise. Its only job is to fool your tongue. Your tongue is covered in tiny little sensors called taste buds. I mean, you can think of your sweet taste buds as having little keyholes on them. And when you eat something with sugar in it, the sugar molecules, which have a very specific shape, fit perfectly into these sweet keyholes. The key turns, a signal is sent to your brain, and your brain goes, yum, this is sweet. It's a simple and direct process. Sugar is the right key for the sweet lock on your tongue. And importantly, sugar is also the right key for the energy locks inside your body's digestive system. So your body gets the sweet taste and the energy that comes with it. Artificial sweeteners, though, are different. They're sneaky. The scientists who designed them created a molecule that is shaped almost exactly like a sugar molecule. 
but not quite. It's shaped just right so that it can also fit into the sweet keyhole on your taste buds, and your tongue gets fooled. The key fits, the lock turns, and the same signal goes to your brain. Yum! This is sweet! Your brain's got no idea that it's being tricked. I mean, as far as it's concerned, you're drinking something full of sugar. But the trick ends there. Once you swallow that diet soda, the fake sugar travels down into your stomach and your digestive system. Your body's digestive system is much, much smarter than your tongue. It's like the master locksmith. It takes one look at this weirdly shaped fake sugar molecule and says, hold on a minute, this isn't the right key. It tries to break it down to get energy from it, but it can't. The tools it has don't work on this strange new object. It's like trying to use a screwdriver on a nail. Your body simply doesn't have the equipment to process this artificial chemical for fuel. So, what does your body do with this sweet tasting imposter? It gives up. It just lets it pass right through your system and out the other end. It's a visitor that came to the party, said hello to your tongue, and then left without doing anything else. Because your body can't break it down and extract any energy from it, it provides zero fuel. And what do we call something that provides zero fuel? We call it zero calories. And that is the entire secret. Diet soda has zero calories for the same reason water has zero calories. Your body can't get any energy from it. Water has nothing to give. Diet soda has something in it, but it's something that your body can't use. It's like the difference between an empty wallet and a wallet full of foreign money that you can't spend here. In both cases, you have zero usable dollars. And all the other stuff in the diet soda, like the carbonated water, the coloring, and the flavorings, are there in such microscopic amounts that they also provide no energy. They're just the paint job and the bumper stickers on our fuelless car. They change how it looks and tastes, but they don't add anything to the gas tank. Now, you might have heard people argue about whether diet soda is good or bad for you. Now, that's a whole other can of worms. That debate isn't about the calories. The zero on the can is factually correct. The argument is about the trick itself. Some scientists wonder if fooling your brain is a good idea. I mean, your brain tastes something intensely sweet and expects a rush of energy for sugar. And when that energy never arrives, the brain might get confused. It's like promising a five-year-old a trip to the toy store and then just driving past it. The kid might get a little upset and demand to go to a real toy store later. Similarly, some worry that tasting sweetness without getting the caloric reward might make you crave real sugar and other high-calorie foods later on. But the science is still a bit fuzzy on that. But the core reason for the zero remains simple. The zero on the symbol is an honest number about energy. It's not about health or nutrition. It's just a measurement of fuel. Diet soda is a beverage that has been expertly designed to taste like it's full of fuel while actually being completely empty. So, let's recap. Water has zero calories because it's just plain old water with nothing in it for your body to burn as fuel. Regular soda has lots of calories because it's loaded with sugar, which is excellent fuel. Diet soda has zero calories because it uses a fake sugar that tricks your tongue into tasting sweetness, but which your body can't burn for any fuel at all. It just passes through unused. See? Now you get it. You're no longer confused. You can walk down the beverage aisle with the confidence of a seasoned scientist. One drink has no fuel, the other is a sneaky liar that pretends to have fuel. Both result in the same big fat zero on the energy scoreboard. But congrats, you're basically a nutritionist now. Feel free to start charging your friends for this advice. Now go, enjoy your plain water or your fizzy science experiment. I'm not here to judge.